Hi, Tony. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Uh, what are we doing today? Uh, today we are going to try to do 100 blunts with my new Lakai Protos and see how they hold up. Did you say try? Well, I... I that's, not a, that's not a... I'm old, so, you know, I, I, I gotta put some caveats in there. Okay, that's fair. We're gonna do 100 blunts. There we go. That's the confidence I need. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, let's, let's with the shoe. So, okay, so this shoe is basically an homage to the Airwalk prototype the same colorways it's got kind of the same vibe with how how it's all put together what year did the, the original prototype come out I believe 1986 that's maybe 1987 was, that's the year I was born yeah yeah so people like me are stupid and we're not gonna know the references so maybe well, we'll I think the funny thing is my first when these first got announced I mean I was really hyped Aaron Hoover designed them and uh, when I first got I went get my first pair I put it out like prematurely yeah out on social media and a lot of the comments were, these look like um, old white man shoes. And I was like, that's me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Design what you know. <laughs> No, but it is it is supposed to be like kind of that throwback and, and it actually like there's a little bit of I'd say Air Jordan in there too. Definitely. Like I, I saw those ones. comments. I thought those were like the ones that I was like, oh yeah, yeah I can see that. Um, and that's what we were wearing during Animal Chin. So yeah. you know, I, I'm I'm connected. I'm connected with these, but uh I'm I'm really excited. Like this th when they told me that you know they wanted to do a like high shoe, I wasn't hesitant, but I was a little bit like, well, Riley's got his shoe and I don't think I'd veer too far out from that. Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to like reinvent the wheel here. Yeah, there's not so many ways you, there's only so many shoes you can make at the end of the day. Yeah, and, and I, you know, I love I loved our Hawk shoes that we sold at Kohl's and also um, the audio stuff because it was more tuned into vert skating. Yeah. Like it was more more ankle support, more toe, obviously for yeah, knee obviously. sliding. And then when Aaron presented me with these, I was like, yes, that's <laughs> it. You that's were... the return to vert shoes for me. That's awesome. Um, so you were like, I don't know if Lakai's gonna get me, and then they fully got you. They directed me in a much better way. Yeah, that's awesome. they got me. It was almost like they they reinvented me. They did. They, yeah. they brought. You know. So let's talk. The toe is obviously the, on this particular colorway that stands out the most. Is it reinforced for like knee slides and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah, these things hold up with knee slides, and you know, even even to the point where you can thread the laces through the through the tongue, and then say this is where all the breakage happens when you knee slide, right here and right here. But you can actually, I mean, you know, this is just if you are a hardcore vert skater, yeah. you can actually lace it underneath, so the lace is not exposed at all. Oh, so you don't see it. Oh, that's good. Right. See, this is new to us because we only see wear like right there ever <laughs> right so right. we might get some new wear in a place we've never dealt with before yeah but it, but honestly I, I am too lazy to lace it up there because I get my shoes free so that's how to do it kids what's get that them, get them for free and you don't have to worry about the laces yeah but definitely the first pair I was very I was very meticulous and I <laughs> laced it all underneath and I was like yes I'm never breaking laces again it's <laughs> awesome well we are going to uh, we're gonna have you throw these on and okay. I, I hope I don't kill you today because I don't want you know I think you can handle this though it's 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 not really the difference difficulty of doing it yeah it's the exhaustion and the age I'm at that's really where I'm more concerned well let's let me so just, if I collapse in the middle of one you're to blame okay I'll be well, let me just give you a little peace of mind here I'm not trying to say that I understand your experience but I've done a hundred kickflips a bunch of times and I'm like 200 and 60 pounds so maybe weight and age kind of meet in the middle and I can like feel your pain I can like coach you through it because okay. I've, I've, I've gone through the extreme pain of being a fat guy doing kickflips <laughs> so you know maybe an old guy doing blunts and a fat guy doing kickflips okay. kind of the same thing right I, I think so yeah it's just the, the, the problem is I have to I have to use my legs to pump my way to the top of the of the 14 foot wall that, that's that's the rub yeah I, I don't see a hundred times <laughs> A hundred times. All right, I get it. A, a, a typical skate run is about 12 walls. Well, so it's just like... I mean, a competition run where you're giving it all. Yeah. You got 12 runs. You're asking me to do that almost 10 times. I think you got it, though. Let's, uh, but I'm let's... doing blunt to fakie, so I actually, I get, I have to do double that. You're making me feel really bad. You're starting to make me... I'm just trying, I'm just trying to... <laughs> trying to put it out there for everybody. Just trying to present the scenario here so you understand the, um, all, all right. the factors involved. But it's okay. It's more about the shoes. Not about me. It's about yeah, the shoes. It's about the so shoes. Let's focus on the shoes. Go. All right. So strap them open. Let's see your first blunt. That's the tradition. Right, right out the box. Okay. Blunt. Take one. Tenth of the way there. I think once I'm into my like ninth wall, 
I start realizing like, oh, this is not as easy as you thought it would be. That's 20. 20. After 20 blunts, Okay, 20 blunts, should be somewhere around here. Oh yeah, we're looking good. So There's a little bit maybe on the edge of the sole, but it seems like the most wear we got is from that knee Dude, slide. Knee slides are the killer. That is crazy. Well, if we do 100 knee slides, you can literally just It's jump. not even that knee slides wear out shoes. They just make them so you can't wear them. To dinner. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's the, you gotta make sure, you, after yeah, you skate them As soon as you're like three knee slides into shoes, <laughs> There's no more fashion in those shoes. No, they're just, well, I don't know, people sell pre-rip skate shoes now, so maybe Yeah, but, but I feel them. like the ollie holes and kickflip holes, like. They look cooler, is that yeah, what you're saying? Yeah, they, they don't interfere with just the, the general aesthetic of the shoe. It's like the front, the leading thing you see yeah. when you wear a shoe, like the, you walk into it's the It's funny, I actually, so I got, Sean White was here yeah. last week, and he took a photo with me after we were skating, put it on his, Instagram and half of the comments were why is Tony Hawk wearing bowling shoes? That's sweet though. Bowling shoes are sweet. All right, so 20 down. Let's uh, another 20. This is the worst part because you're already tired and you feel like you're like, fuck, I'm only 20 in. But like once you get to 40, you're going to feel like a king. Really? I promise. Back blunt, blunt fakie, half cab blunt, half cab blunt, revert, front blunt. That was the run. That's way that more than I- your version of things from a street skater's perspective? Yeah, that's how I'm thinking of it. Are, am I calling them the right name? I like half cab blunt, revert. Is that? <laughs> that's your fault because that's probably what it was called in that video game and that's probably how I Hell grew no, up seeing that was, it. That would be- Half cab backside blunt? Half cab backside blunt, yeah. Okay, or you call it a blunt alarial or something cool. That would be a 540. No, you can't do that. Well, You're I trying to combine cab alarial. No, stop, just stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Besides, a cab blunt would be a cab to nose blunt. Oh, yeah. You okay. don't get yeah, to, yeah. Like, cab to blunt. Cab. You can, okay, yeah. Once you blunt, then the cab is done. Once you say cab, you have better spawn 360. The wear is about the same on any blunt areas. It looks like there's a little bit back here, which is not common. But oh. I guess a blunt, you might blunt with the back side of your foot. Those toes, though, I don't think the bowling alley would let you in. Maybe if you were in a league or something. And then, yeah, you got a little bit there, but other than that, you're looking fine. Okay. Seven. Yeah. Oh my God. 60. Is that safe to say it's the most blunts you've done in a run ever? Yeah, probably. Yeah. It, are you capable of saying that right now? I think so. <laughs> but it's not really a badge of honor when most of them are the same trick. Oh, uh, that's not, that's, that's frowned upon. Yeah, I mean, he wants to, you know. I mean, it's kind of cool. I did seven was... blunts on run. You mean they're all the same? Then you're the blunt guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's like... just like. <laughs> That's true. Like, what if you were skating a mini ramp and just saw someone do the same trick seven times in a row? I'd be impressed the first time I saw it, but then, yeah, after that, if, you, if every day you saw that dude at your park and he was just doing the same blunts, you'd be like, all right, buddy, figure it out. <laughs> the original blunt is you, is grabbing mute. Really? Yeah. That's like the classic? That's that's what a blunt to fakie originally was. Who named it? Who, who invented it? Neil Blender. It? Oh, he did. He, he invented everything. That's true. And then when people started doing Ollie Blunt, I, the first guy I saw do it was Danny. Um, that was that was an Ollie Blunt. Ollie, so the blunt as we know it is the yeah. Ollie Blunt. I'll try one for you. All right. The OG Blunt. Oh, they're frightening. They are? Yeah. All right, so after 61 blunts, we are, uh, and three knee slides, we're looking good. Same thing, the toe is ugly, but still functional, right? Oh, yeah. How long are you going to skate these shoes after today? How long, how long do you, a pair of shoes last for you? Uh, regular skating for me, they could last like six to eight weeks. Really? Yeah. Wow. 
That's um, good. But if I like if I go skate much concrete, yeah, and I'm doing knee slides, that would significantly increase that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> decrease that. Yeah, definitely. So if you're skating the ramp here, then it's a big plastic. Yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm just sliding on wood every time. So yeah. What usually wears out first on your shoe? I mean, obviously, the sliding from the toe, but like. Is like do the bottoms wear out before you rip holes, or how often do you rip holes in shoes actually? Uh, very rarely, and it's usually in the toe. Yeah. When was the last time you ripped a hole in a shoe? Do you remember? Or has it been so long you can't remember? I was wearing Riley's shoes at one of the Bondi events, and they were already worn, kind of worn out by the time I got there. Yeah. By the end of the contest, like they were not just dusted. They're not usable. Yeah. All right, you're at 61. We're over halfway. You're at 81. Yes! New record. I don't care about the record, I just care about getting closer to 100. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> just let me have my records here, it's fun. We'll call Guinness, you know, figure it out. It's weird how when you're doing the same trick, you get in this sort of zen mindset, but it's not good because you start to take it for granted. Yeah. And you just are convinced you're gonna make it even if something, a little thing goes wrong. I definitely thought about that on number eight. I was like, he's like, he's in yeah. the zone. That could be dangerous. Cause I gotta move my foot every time. Yeah. I gotta move my foot across the flat to here. Yeah. And if I'm just in the zone, I might not do that. And then I would land like this. Oh yeah. And anyone that's at a backside blunt and land like this knows the struggle. That's, I mean, I've done that on a, a three foot mini ramp. <laughs> yeah, you land like that and then you go. Oh, Chicken neck. No, nope, not for me. Well, that was good. Nine. That was, that was a good one. We got, um, yeah, I thought about that. I'm like, it's kind of meditative, but like, not like licking envelopes where you like are like really happy that you zone out. Like, it's like kind of yeah. a dangerous zone out. I don't like taking backside blunts for granted. Okay, what do we at? 81. So. Yes. Say it again. 81. Yes. Yes. Eighty-five blunts on the old vert ramp, and we're just pretty much the same. You've done four knee slides now. Uh -oh. Yeah, I think so. It's four knee slides in, and uh, you just scuff your bowling toe, and you're good to go. So you have 15 more, and then you're done, and then you never have to do another blunt again if you don't want to. A hundred. You're Sit. done. Look how easy that was. The original. Yeah. Was that easy? Yeah. I, I, mean, I thought it was, you know. I, I honestly didn't think we'd get so many knee slides, but. That's know. good. You want to, can you take off your right shoe and bring take it up here trade. so we can get a look? I was just going to say, I mean, it was, Wait. that was really easy for me. So right is the one that you, you write with it. Yeah. yeah. But All I was right. trying to show you the, the woes of shoelaces. I guess before. that's almost true. starting we to go. See right sides. there. This is a whole, we have to rethink the whole wear test when we do it on vert. I put more pressure on my left foot when I knee slide because uh, yeah. I use this foot to take one step to like lessen the impact. So uh, you go one step knee slide. Uh, after a hundred blunts we are looking fine. There is there is a little wear. You definitely put a little something on there. But I mean a little. And then uh, yeah we got toe slide. We got knee slide marks on the toe. There you go. There's my blunt. Yeah we've never seen wear there that's before. It. There you go. <laughs> So that's what a hundred blunt fake easel will do it. to the Lakai Tony Hawk Protos. <laughs> and and five-ish knee slides. Five-ish. Well, thank you for doing this. I'm really glad that uh, you made it. Thank you. Thanks for uh, having me and challenging me to this and uh, and um, challenging my shoes to the test, the wear test. They're a good shoe. I think I'm going to try them now and I'm going to learn to knee slide. Yeah, I mean, I'm wearing them out of the box. Yeah, they're brand new. And every other shoe that I've had, I'd say in the last five to ten years, I made some custom tweak on them. Yeah. Whether it be insoles or, you know, or have them made especially for me or yeah. have them bulked up for me. And uh, these are out of the box, as is, same insole. Damn. So that's, the, the that's the cosign. You got the, the Tony cosign. Hey, Tony, all right. Well, we're going to let you go now because I know you're a busy man. What, uh, where can you grab these shoes? Well, I know you can find them on CCS.com. Yeah.